Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is it wrong to dream? I mean, as an outdoor roller skater, I have a dream of this place being the best outdoor roller skating rink anywhere in the world. It's Golden Gate Park. It's San Francisco. And it definitely can happen. Today's Skating Place camera is going to take you to meet a man named E. Studio E. That is his architectural firm. And he has been bitten by the bug of skating in Golden Gate Park. Check it out. We got plans to really elevate the level of visibility of skating in San Francisco. And it all starts right here, Skating Place. Check it out. Uh, hello, David. We, uh, we're in my studio here, and we're working. Uh, I've been working over the last few years on many, many sorts of designs. And uh, one of them, which we'll show you real soon, which is Golden Gate Park, and hopefully it's the right time to get it going again. And uh, David will show you guys uh, some, some original copies that he's got in a booklet, and he's also going to film some stuff from the boards and the images. Well, anyway. tell, me, tell me this right here. Um, what made you come up with the idea of Sixth Avenue? Well, I used to be a roller. Uh, well, I used to skate at least three, four times uh, a week in the park. And what ended up happening is I, I realized that there was a need for a better facility. Yeah. So I took it upon myself to design and to do, do a proposal for a, uh, a new recreational area, which would work with the old Sixth Avenue spot already, just enhance it. And you, you guys will be very excited, as much as I am and David is, to see what potentially can happen there. It's very exciting. We'll do here, I'll show you the project on a board, and we'll be able to focus on each drawing and what each drawing communicates. First of all, here's the plan that we have here. And what this does, if you guys, this is John F. Kennedy, and this is the Fulton Street. And what this is, is the length of two basketball courts, the one, two that I mentioned earlier. And we have the zone, the red zone and the green zone. The green zone being with the, next to the playground, the hard amphitheater tucked into the natural landscape, concession stands, and restrooms up against the hill up here. We have sponsorship flags. We have uh, the pavement materials a lot like this, the material on a tennis court. So it's safe, it's durable. And, and uh, it, it's, it's probably a very, very good idea to use the same material because it, it, with roller blades and the soft rubbers of the, the wheels, it's a big, great idea. We can also explore other, other types of materials and surfaces. Um, and uh, finally, the, these are what I call the uh, viewing towers where the cameras and, and uh, TV cameras will be able to be perched up there to film the activities, the future activities. Up here is the uh, elevation, which we, which we call a section elevation, from John F. Kennedy Drive here to Fulton Street. Again, showing the view of the pavilion, the amphitheater, with a concession, the yellow and the red walls in the backdrop, the colonnade, much like a Roman co Colosseum with the playground off to the left here and the sponsorship flags to the right. And I want to make sure everybody sees my van right there. Hey, this is Dee's van right here. He changed colors, but you know, I can't make that change anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, finally, these, these two images right here on the lower left side are, uh, this is the view on a Sunday, John F. Kennedy on a Sunday, and it shows the very low impact it has on the environment. It's such a great improvement, but it's very delicately put in, and it has very little impact or negative. It, it doesn't have a lot of presence. It's very subtly tucked into the hills and between the trees. And here it is also from the arena with all the dancers and the pavilion and the backdrop here and the colonnade. And I should add how, you sh I should point out how the hardscape, the concrete steps of the amphitheater blends in with the soft hill and the existing trees. We could move up to the upper portion of the board here to the right and what we'll see here is the cross section of the amphitheater with a pavilion 
the sponsorship flags beyond the soft mound, the the uh, viewing uh, over the camera camera towers, and a portion of the plan enlarged, which shows the same the same uh, the amphitheater, the hard, the soft amphitheater, the pavilion, the viewing pl platform, the restrooms, the women's or men's, and the concession area or storage room. It's uh, very exciting and uh, it goes on and on and I've got a lot more stories, but this is the edited version. That's what it's going to look like, huh? That's what it's going to look like. So skaters can have something really cool to look forward to. <laughs> That's right. So, What do you think the process is now and what's the next step? Okay, well what we, what we need to do is basically, uh, I feel very confident after meeting with political consultants that uh, we have to definitely get it in front of the mayor to create an open political avenue for the project. If the mayor's office approves the project, we have a very good chance. I'm almost 100% sure that we can get corporate sponsorship and get this whole project paid for by Nike. I have a lot of contacts with all the work that I've done in the mm -hmm. past with Fila, Nike, ESPN, Disney, all sorts of corporate uh, giants. Maybe the San Francisco 49ers, the giants might want to sponsor for some reason. We put together a package, we put together cost analysis, and we get the sponsorship. Once What can the skaters do? Can, you, can they get their support all into this? The skaters' responsibility. I mean, the reason this is already designed to this level is because the skaters, as I was a skater at one point, I was skating three four times in the park before I busted my knee and my ankle oh, bad, yeah. um, uh, which I don't skate as much anymore. They're the ones that in, in, inspired me to do this project or else it wouldn't have been done. Come on. So the skaters, we've already had signed a lot of petitions and um, we need the skaters to they're in a good position already. Dave has done a D has done a great job putting the skaters in a public eye. We'll continue to do that. The skaters support the project, and what that does is let lets the mayor hear what the, the needs are, right, D? And, Absolutely. And uh, and by supporting the project, it enhances the chances of it getting done in actuality and reality. The illusion is here. All we got to do is get the reality set in and it's right there. Yes indeed skaters, this is one of those dreams that can definitely come true, but it can't happen without your help. Please stay tuned to Skate in Place, we're going to let you know what's going on. The information will be on the website, it's right there, all you have to do is go there and check it out. As we say each time, my name is D, that's me, the Godfather Skating in San Francisco, California. Please skate safe, wear those pads, but whatever you do in life, keep rolling, we'll see you in the street.